Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can change the two belts on this five foot long uh, lawn finisher. Uh, it is a tractor attachment that I uh, use to mow my uh, yard and my uh, lawn at my farm. So I will be showing you how you can do it. This is the uh, part number for this belt. The number is uh, M. EC B68. It is a 17 inch by 1725 millimeter and it is a rebuilt. I bought this from eBay. If you need one, you can find it on eBay or at Amazon or at any uh, part store. I have done uh, a lot of research but I did not find uh, the model of this lawn finisher so what I uh, did I just look at the number on this lawn finisher and then look on eBay and then that's that's why I found the part I mean the belt for this lawn finisher so if you have something that's similar to what I have right here this might be a good video for you how you can change the belt so let's stay tuned for more information to come. So this is um, the bolt that you need to lose before you can change the belt. So this is bolt number one, bolt number two, bolt number three, bolt number four, and then this is the um, tension nut, and this is the um, tension bolt you need to do all this before you can slide this thing back to change the belt. Okay, today I'm going to replace the um, belt for this lawn finisher mower. And it is a 54 inch, which is five foot. And this one attached to my tractor to do lawn mower and one of the um, belt broke and then I had to replace it so what you need to do first thing first make sure you park your tractor in a level uh, position make sure it does not roll up or roll down so what I do I'm going to remove the belt cover so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to remove this bolt right here and then I'm going to move to the one on the back and then one on the front and then another two or three on the right side, one back here and then also the one on the right. So once right you got here. this cover, remove it, then you can have access to the belt but there's a lot of work beyond that so stay tuned for more information to come and this is going to take about one to two hours for me so it depends what kind of work you've done or what kind of experience you have on this lawn mower i have done some research on youtube and could not find the exact model of this um, lawn finisher so what I uh, do here I came to my lawn finisher and look at this and I believe that uh, this is the um, tension bolt where you can adjust the uh, tension on the belt so by looking at this um, tension bolt I think you can just uh, loosen uh, the nuts and then um, loosen this uh, nuts on this bolt right here and then also um, the one on the back as you can see there's a gap in there and then same thing on this one losing this uh, bolt right here you can adjust uh, the tension on the belt to loosen the belt so um, uh, the belt can be loosened and then you can remove the belt from there this is how you look toward the truck to the back of the tractor so oftentimes I'm gonna refer this as the front because this 
facing me so I'm going to see this the front and back here I'm going to say back so when you see or hear what I said back and front this is how I refer to so um, the thing is that I did not know what model is this lawn finisher so it's kind of odd that I'm um, hard to find how you replace the belt the first time but once you got it done then you know next uh, you, you know how to do it next time so probably easier next time but this time it's take quite a bit of time for me to finish this uh, to finish this job right here and down here this is how it looks if you see something like this or you have a long finisher like this then this will be a good video for you so uh, after um, you loosen the nuts on this uh, bolt right here you can uh, lose on either side of the uh, lawn finisher so there, there are four bolts on two on each side and then loosen those nuts out and then the uh, bolt become loosened and as you can see uh, I already slide this thing a little bit to the front and as you can see one on the back over here too then you loosen this tension okay so that you can slide slide this thing backward I mean forward slide this so it gives you room or so that you can put this belt on it and after you loosen the um, tension screw then on the back there are three screws back here too loosen this one same thing this one and then over here too okay so this is the back okay this is the back um, of the um, attachment the lawnmower finisher okay. so on the back of the uh, lawn finisher there are three bolts also put some tools like this slide this in here and lift this thing up so that it gives you room to insert the belt underneath of this and that's how I insert the belt into this uh, to well back here so let me show you how you do it okay okay how to do this same thing on this one losing this one back here okay All right. and then I insert this thing here so I gotta pause this video because I need hand to leave this thing to insert this thing in there okay so use either a screwdriver or something that you can leave this thing higher to give you room down here so you can insert the belt too I don't know you can see it but <clears throat> down here you see right there you see this gap right there that's the thing that you need to lift this thing so you can insert the belt to it so I don't know you can see it but look at here this is where you need it okay this right here this is how you insert the belt to it you can lift a little bit higher if you need to but just enough for you to put the belt on and down here you insert the belt underneath this rail I mean on top of this rail and between this rail down here insert the belt through here you can insert the belt in here slide the belt in here okay and on top of that and then down here, insert the belt down here. 
Okay, uh, it doesn't matter which one you do first, but what I do, I usually set up the bottom first, and then I do the one on the top. And on this side right here, okay, this is the other side of the belt. This is two belts, and so I insert the belt to it. So. Okay, now after I insert um, both belts on it, now it's time to put all the bolts back on. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie the three bolts on the back first before I adjust the intention bolt. And after that, then I will have to tie those four bolts once I got the tension adjusted to the way I want it. So stay tuned for the process that I'm doing next. Okay, so now it's time to tie this thing back up. I'm gonna tie it first. Let's do this. Usually I use hand tie first and then use this um, screwdriver racket and then tie the thing back up. So you're doing same thing on the other two screws. Okay. Give me that and something more here. Okay, uh, just like I said earlier that uh, you need to tie uh, these three bolts first uh, before you adjust um, the tension at the front. So here is the tension. Okay, so um, right now I am at the front of the um, lawnmower. I have to uh, adjust the uh, tension bolt right here. Uh, before I type any other uh, bolts. So first, you do by hand. Now make sure you move this uh, nut a little bit back toward you by tightening this. So what I'm gonna do is just you know, tie this thing back up. Right. Just to tight and bring this thing back to position adjust the tension. So this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Gonna put the phone down and I'm gonna finish this okay. Okay um, now I got the uh, tension adjusted to the way it was before so I am ready to go. So check your belt tension Make sure not too tight or not too loose. I think this is good since this is the new belt. And okay, so um, once the belt is um, tight the way uh, you want it, um, then you will have to tight uh, this nut to tighten um, the uh, tension bolt to prevent it from sliding. So um, whatever you do to make sure it's tight. Okay, now uh, since you have the tension adjust, adjusted to the way it was before, now it's time to tighten these four bolts. And after that, you should be all good to go. Okay, now I got all the uh, bolts tight and tension adjusted but uh, when you tighten uh, these four bolts make sure you don't over tighten it otherwise you couldn't uh, uh, break it uh, break the uh, bolt so that's not a good, good thing so be careful with that um, same thing on uh, this one right here and also this one and the one back here too 
but just to make sure before you put uh, the cover back on the um, belt cover back on make sure you test it and to make sure everything is working before you put the uh, belt cover back on so this is how it looks after the belt is installed uh, and this is the back of the tractor from here down to here so now it's time to test it to see how thing goes okay it's working now